Hi guys, Chloe again. So the time of year is upon us when the festivals are arriving and it gives us free reign with our makeup. We can really go to town and let's face it, if you can't go crazy at a festival, where can you? So I'm going to show you a couple of different ones um, from the more sort of subtle up to the more exaggerated and fantastical. Um, but the main thing I'm going to say is to always start with some kind of SPF because you're going to be out there in the sunshine, hopefully, actually having said that, it could be pouring. But fingers crossed you won't need your wellies and you get the old lovely sandals on. So starting with an SPF is a really good way to begin. Okay, so here's an SPF which I think is brilliant for a festival. It's small, compact, you can whack it in your bag or your pocket and you can just use it at any point you feel like you need to. Now this one is actually great for UVA and UVB protection. Um, it's SPF 35 and it's oil free so your makeup on top is not going to just slide off, it'll hold nicely. So literally lid off, wind up, very simple for application uh, around the more delicate areas like the eyes, also on your ears, any scars, um, a really good little product. Okay, so now I've applied it and I did actually forget to say that this one is by Clinique. Um, I'm just going to smooth it all over my skin to make sure I have good coverage. Okay, so the next product I'm going to use is by a company called Make Believe, and this is their Little Sister line of products, which is quite new. It's called Little White Lie. Now, they have a, a great variety of tanning products, scrubs, um, and this one, which is a wash-off instant colour. Now, this is fantastic. You can just apply it to your face or wherever you're going to have skin showing. Neck, decolletage, hands, arms, legs, whatever you want to do, you can put it there and it's very easy to uh, put on in the morning, wash off at night. So, I'm only going to use a little bit because I just want to enhance my colour a tiny bit, give me more of a sun-kissed golden glow. So I'm going to put a tiny bit on the back of my hand. Fear not, it does look quite dark, but this is actually the lighter one. Um, and once you start applying it, you'll see how the colour is really sort of, not washed out, that's not the right word, but spread evenly across the face and just gives a lovely colour. So. See, it doesn't go on dark like this at all. This gives you a really nice glow. Think Sienna Miller festival style. Now I'm going to apply a tiny bit of foundation. I don't want much at all because I want it to look very sort of daytime, summertime, natural. Um, so I'm going to use MAC Face and Body and as it says in the title, it can be used for face and body. Um, it's a water-based foundation, goes on very sheer and gives you a beautiful natural glow. So I'm going to use C3 because this is now going to match the colour that I've put on from the instant bronze. So I'm doing a lot of this with my fingers today for a uh, sheer ease and because you're going to be out in a, a tent probably at the festival it's easier than taking loads of brushes with you. So using your fingers um, I'm just applying it across my face almost like I would with a moisturiser. Okay so that's all done now. Um, I really like the sheeny effect it gives, you know, that really lovely dewy glow, but if you want to you could add a little bit of powder along your T-zone, so across your forehead and down the centre and just blend it out slightly, but it depends what look you're going for. Now what I'm going to use to give my cheeks a bit of colour is this Soleil Tan de Chanel, um, which is 4 facets bronzing powder, 547 bronze rosé. Uh, let me show you the colours, really pretty as it says, four, and um, it's got a really nice wide flat brush here which you can just use to dust gently over it and then glide over your cheeks, cheekbones to give you that really lovely colour. So I'm going to use a little mirror for this. Next up on my list of quick and easy products is uh, the Chanel Quick Eyes Cream um, Shadow here in a very simple little tube with applicator and it really is literally just apply straight to your eyelid and uh, you can either blot in with your finger or you can use a brush to um, really sort of blend and define where you're putting the colour. So I'm just going to close my eye 
and I'm doing applying the colour across my eyelid and uh, kind of just above the socket line like so and as I said just patting it in with my finger okay now I've put the eyeshadow on but I'm going to give my eyes a tiny bit of definition just along the lash line and to do that I'm using a very fine um, Chanel brush this is number 13 and I'm using a Clarins um, mono colour totally black number 3 and this is a matte colour and I'm literally going to put a tiny bit very thin line softly across the eyelash line so just blowing off any excess and now I need to give my lashes some definition so I'm going to use False Slash Effect Fusion by um, Max Factor which gives you volume and length and this one's called Black Brown. Now I love these mascaras because of the size of the brush. You can see this. And the way it's designed, it really separates your lashes and uh, sort of combs them out as you're using it so you don't get any clumping. Brilliant. So lashes are all finished now and it's really a very simple look because all I'm going to do is apply a little bit of a lip stain and then it's finished. You're ready to go and hang out, watch the bands, party, do your thing. So I'm going to use a Meron lip cream in Poppy, really lovely vibrant red and I'm going to take a tiny bit of my finger and just dab it onto my lips. So there you go, my first festival look done. I'm ready to go and party with your friends, hang out, listen to the music, enjoy the sunshine. Fingers crossed. So if you want to ask me more questions about this look or any more coming up or that you've seen in the past, please find me on Twitter at Chloe Butcher or have a look at my blog, Oh So Chloe. Take care, bye.